if I had only one thing to eat on my last day on this earth, this dish would be it. Chilean sea bass over a spicy plantain mash. It's about to go down. <laughs> Sea bass is a fish that I absolutely adore. Miss Coretta adores it as well. And we had this dish down in Miami at this restaurant and I had to duplicate it. And it turned out better in the house. So we went to the lab, freaked out a little bit and made it our own. And Chilean sea bass is a fish that is just white, flaky, super good, full of flavor. But right now we're gonna start off with this spicy plantain mash and the ingredients are ripe plantains, the black of the better, ginger root, green pepper, red onion, habanero, or better known as Scotch bonnet in the islands, salt and pepper, and a splash of heavy whipping cream. The first thing we're gonna do guys is saute our veggies, the red onion, the green pepper, half, of a habanero seedless, as well as the ginger root. And here's a nice little tip for you guys. Just use the back of your spoon to peel the skin off of the ginger root. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in our pan, a little olive oil. Let that heat up a little bit, and then we're gonna add our veggies. And we're gonna add these veggies, and I diced them really fine. You don't want big old hunks of veggies in this mash, guys. Not at all. And we're gonna cook everything down till it's translucent. And this is gonna be so tasty, guys. Like I said earlier, if the last thing I had to eat on earth, this would be it, guys. And this is gonna be the base that our Chilean sea bass is gonna be sitting in. Let me just work this around a little bit. And we're gonna break it. That's my grandbaby in the background. <laughs> and we're gonna just cook this to translucent and soften, and then we're gonna set it to the side. And this is what it looks like, guys. Just saute down some. You don't want them all hard into the mash. And this is a very, very easy dish and very elegant dish. And you guys are gonna be thanking me later. But now we're gonna break down these plantains. We're just gonna cut these plantains on down, open them up, and here's what it looks like on the inside. We're just gonna dump it in the bowl. And the darker the plantain, the sweeter the flesh is on the inside. So we're going for a sweet and savory plantain, and it's a really, really easy dish to make, guys. Trust me, nothing complicated about it, and you will pay 50, 60 bucks in a restaurant <laughs> for this particular dish. So we're just gonna dump all of this on in. And with your potato masher, you just start mashing. You see how simple this is? <laughs> Nothing to it at all. Just mash them up. That's why it's called plantain mash. Just mashing it up, nothing to it. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Butter always makes it better. Melt this down and we're gonna add our mash. In goes our plantain mash. Along with our veggies. And we're just gonna mix it on up. Cook it down 
maybe 10 minutes or so. Salt and pepper to taste. And this is a sweet and savory dish. And I've really fallen in love with this medley of peppercorns. It just adds a really great layer of flavor. It's really starting to come together. And with the natural sugars that are in plantains, it will stick to the pan. So just take your time. And if, and if you look closely, you can see where they're like kind of orange, but they're gonna start turning yellow the more we cook. And that's with the sugar starting to come together and caramelize a bit. You see how it's starting to turn yellow? That's what you're looking for. We cook this thing about 10, 15 minutes or so. And by the way, I had a little taste. Wow, really good. And right when it's coming together, I add a splash of cream. And it just loosens it up just a little bit because it starts to get a little tight. And adds another layer of flavor. And this is it guys, this is what it looks like. Here's our mash from orange to yellow. I'm gonna set this to the side and get ready for our Chilean sea bass, the star of the show. And now onto this Chilean sea bass. Just take a look at it. Beautiful, beautiful piece of white fish. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pat it down, paper towel. We wanna get it really dry. And this is a very, very, very simple dish, guys. Trust me when I tell you this. Work that little bit of moisture up. And we're just gonna hit it with something simple salt and pepper. The fish speaks for itself. On all sides. And once again, I just love this peppercorn medley. Really, really good. Pat it. Flip it. And continue the process. There we go. We're gonna sear these off for about five minutes per side. Five minutes, so get your timer. Five minutes per side. Five minutes per tear. Flip it. Repeat the process. Now we're gonna take these, slap them in the oven, 10 minutes, and it's a wrap. Now on to this elegant dish. Dino, you really, really did it. I know. <laughs> but it looks so good and it is good. So we're gonna tell you guys. I'm just about, about to dig in. Because I love this dish. I know. I know you do. I gotta cook it more often for you. Super yummy. The Chilean sea bass just speaks for itself. It just melts in your mouth. Just melts. Mm -hmm. And this plantain mash, to me, is the perfect accompaniment you can have with this fish. Yes. Mm. A little sweet, savory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this fish is really, really meaty. <laughs> nice, hunky piece of fish. Nothing like Chilean sea bass, guys. So from our house to yours, make sure you try this recipe and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Black Foodies, and also follow us on Instagram at The Black Foodies, where you'll get five <laughs> recipes, recipes like this. Mm -hmm.